And the scribes and Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? I guess that gave them something to whine about. But Jesus forgave them. Now look at Romans. I'm going to come right back there. Don't, if you open your Bible to Luke 5, don't close it. Romans 3.22, NIV says, This righteousness from God, this innocence, this forgiven state, where you are declared forgiven and right in God's eyes, the state of righteousness, that doesn't mean you're living a perfect holy life. We grow in holiness, that's our conduct. But righteousness means you are innocent in God's eyes while you are growing in your conduct. Are you with me? So here, holiness and righteousness are two different things. Now, this righteousness from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe there is no difference. So that every person that believes in Jesus is declared innocent and forgiven and righteous in the eyes of God and can approach His throne boldly and confidently to find grace and help in their time of need. Just because they are innocent as if they have never sinned. You see? So anybody here tonight doesn't even know the Lord who comes to Jesus for healing, the minute they believe in Jesus the healer, they are declared forgiven and, and born into the family of God. Isn't that amazing? Amen. Can you see that God is willing to accept people to heaven in an instant, in a moment, the mercy of God? Can you see that? We'll never understand the love of God, dear children of God, We'll never understand it. It'll take a million years in heaven before we really have a glimpse of understanding of the wonderful love that God has for you. You're so precious to God. Now then, let's go back to Luke 5 and continue reading our story from verse 22. But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, He answered and said to the Pharisees and Sadducees and teachers of the law, why are you reasoning in your hearts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, rise up and walk? Is it easier to say, be forgiven, or be healed? Which is easier to say, Jesus is asking. In other words, Jesus is saying, it's just as easy to say, be forgiven, or be healed. All right, lift your right hand and say, it's just as easy to get forgiven and get healed. It's just as easy to get healed as it is to get forgiven. Both are paid for by Jesus at Calvary, and they are both a free gift. Where's my gift? I thought somebody had taken my gift. I was about to get concerned. Okay. If you weren't here this morning, raise your hand. All right. Now, you must accept everything from God in prayer like a gift. It's all paid for already. If you try and deserve this, you're not going to get it. If you try and stress out to have it, you're not going to get it. Biting your nails off at a peach tree pip while you're planting, waiting for it to grow is not going to make it grow any faster. <laughs> Getting stressed out about God's doing stuff for you is not going to make it come any quicker. You've got to know everything you want from God must come like a gift because it's a gift and it's your name on the card. Your name, healing for you, salvation for you, deliverance for you, prosperity for you, happiness for you. Are you with me? And when you understand that principle, your life will change. You'll stop trying to earn everything and start praising and thanking instead. You'll be grateful instead. Is that okay? All right, I'm going to keep this just to remind you how we got to talk to God and approach the Father. So which is easier to say your sins are forgiven you or to say rise up and walk? 
but that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, arise, take up your bed and go to your house. Now let's think about that. That you may know that Jesus, I, the Son of Man, have power to forgive sins, be healed. Which tells me when you are forgiven, you should be healed. Hello? His healing was evidence of being him being forgiven. Jesus said, I'm going to prove to you he's forgiven. Get up and walk. Right or wrong? Lift your hand up and say, because I'm forgiven, I should be healed. Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.